Hey guys, and welcome back to the Acne Channel. My name is Lavinia Rosanda, and today we are going to be discussing chemical peels versus microneedling and which one is best for you. Now, chemical peels and microneedling treatments are both commonly used to help with acne scarring, pigmentation, and kind of giving the skin a nice refresh. This can even help with fine lines in the skin, but they are two very different processes and you should definitely know before you decide which one is best for you. So let's start off by talking about chemical peels. Now, you've probably seen a chemical peel online if you've ever seen someone where it kind of looks like they have a layer of, you know, skin on top of their skin and they are literally shedding. That is usually because of a chemical peel where their skin is literally lifting up and that would just be the top layer of their skin is shedding in a way from their skin and this happens after you get a chemical peel done. So basically the skin begins to peel after a few days after you've done the chemical peel and a few days later it leaves behind that glowy new skin look so this is obviously going to help with kind of refreshing that top layer of the skin since we are technically removing it and giving you a new skin look so it basically resurfaces the skin using a chemical solution that exfoliates the skin chemically rather than physically so a physical exfoliant is like a scrub or anything that needs manual exfoliation to resurface the skin like a clarisonic or a spin brush or even a towel if you're rubbing it that will do some physical exfoliation but these chemicals react with the top layer of the skin to exfoliate just that top layer and leave behind this glowy new look. So this is really going to get rid of all those dead skin cells sitting on top. And over time, as you have these chemical treatments done, like over a longer span of time, you will see improvements in acne scars, pigmentation, fine lines, and even texture due to that skin resurfacing. And there are three main types of chemical peels. We have superficial chemical peels, which are going to be pretty mild, and they're definitely more used for discoloration in the skin. Let's say if you have just like very subtle scars or just some hyperpigmentation from the sun. And then we have medium level and this is going to help with dark spots and wrinkles. So a little bit more significant skin damage. And then we have deep peels and these deep peels actually penetrate multiple layers of the skin. These are going to be really good for deeper skin damage and scarring. So if you are someone that struggles with that deeper scarring in the skin, these deep peels might be something that you would want to look into, of course, after speaking to your derm. Now let's kind of switch gears and talk about microneedling. So basically, we've talked lots about microneedling here on this channel. We've talked about what it is, in-office versus at-home treatments, the aftercare that comes along with microneedling. So we've definitely done a huge dive in on everything about microneedling, but we'll do a little recap today to be able to compare the two treatments. So overall, microneedling uses very small needles in order to penetrate the skin, and by doing this it creates micro wounds to kind of send signals to your body to heal a certain area on your body and this will basically accelerate the generation of collagen in that affected area and collagen is what helps make the skin look more youthful and glowy as well as bring that firmness back to the skin so this can really help with any scarring or fine lines as well as just repairing the skin in general from any damage it's also safe effective and it's also proven to improve the look of acne scars and dark spots or any other pigmentation on the skin and for you to actually see results from this type of treatment you would need to do multiple treatments and make sure you're consistent with these whether that's doing in-office treatments every few months or doing an at-home treatment every few weeks for at-home treatments, my go-to is the Banisher 2.0. It's super easy to use and unlike, you know, the rollers that you sometimes see there with microneedling, this one has less risk of causing tears in the skin because with the rollers, you're kind of tugging back and forth. Whereas this one right here, you press it straight down into the skin to promote that collagen production. All right, so now that we've kind of discussed both treatments and what they're all about, which one is better for you? So both treatments overall are supposed to improve the look of the skin, but microneedling does does target deeper damage and therefore can be better targeted for problems such as acne scars whereas chemical peels are more surface level and they're really gonna help rejuvenate that top layer of the skin so therefore they can be really good for smaller issues or if you have lighter scarring but a combination is actually ideal so if you space them out right and you know you talk to your dermatologist to kind of build a schedule to be able to incorporate both of these types of treatments over a long span of time and of course making sure 
that you're allowing your skin to recover in between these treatments. You can actually do a combination of them and this can be amazing for pigmentation, scarring, and all of those things. But if you do want to kind of do both methods, I would actually start off by microneedling the skin for a while, you know, kind of boost that collagen production, increase that cell turnover in the skin. And then after you've done some of those treatments and you're satisfied with how your skin is looking, then do a chemical peel because this will kind of refresh that top layer of your skin and give you that really nice glowy look. So there you have it. There is kind of an overview on the differences between chemical peels and microneedling. And hopefully this video kind of gave you an insight to be able to choose which treatment would be better for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, make sure to go subscribe and also give this video a big thumbs up. Hope you're having a fantastic day and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys.